angle working again. Yeah, I'm proper zoomed in now. Oh yeah. <laughs> do the sorry. wide angle, do the wide <laughs> angle. Am I going? Let's go. Oh, are you, are you, are you filming? Yeah, I can do oh, that. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I'll probably use all that. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, welcome to my video. It's been a long time since I last did my YouTube. Just due to the fact that Boris doesn't like gyms being opened, but we'll not, <laughs> we'll not talk about it. So it's been 13 weeks since the last video. There's been quite a lot of changes, especially with diet, but we'll go through that today. Um, so I guess the biggest change, or like the littlest change, is my weight. So from when I first started um, my prep 13 weeks ago, I was 61 kilos and now I am only 57 and a half, so that's like three and a half kilos drop in 13 weeks. <laughs> so to, to some people that might think, oh God, what have you been doing? Like you've not really <laughs> changed. But like physically, like the look of me, I have really changed. And I think that people need to, especially women, need to stop fixating on weight just because it doesn't really matter for us ladies as to how much we drop, we really need to focus on the look. Men will drop a lot more um, to kind of look the way that we do, but our kind of like, the smallest increase and the smallest decrease will have like a significant change on the way that we, that we kind of look. But the things that we've really changed is steps. So when I was in off season and eating all the food that I was last time, so kind of like the, the burgers and all the squares bars and cookies and everything that we went through last time, Obviously that's kind of gone now, but my, my steps have really reduced from starting then. So obviously I was doing like 25,000 steps then, um, and now we've reduced it down to 15 to 12, because obviously I couldn't really get super lean on the food that I was eating. So we needed to reduce that, but then we didn't want to get super flat and super small. So that's why small decreases in food, decrease in steps, and that's kind of made me full and, and lean. So that's, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I just go home. <laughs> that's what you do. That's what you do. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of it in terms of in terms of weight. But food wise, we'll go through it today. But for breakfast, I have got seventy grams of oats and thirty grams of the JP Iso Caramel Whey. Um, and then my supplements that I have at breakfast, which I've already had, I am sorry, is the joining and the curcumin because I've got really bad knees, well, bad joints. I think it's just from years of diving, constant like, impact on the joints has made me like an old lady before my time, but I am 26 on Saturday, so. Oh, you re really <laughs> so old now. Old Coming from the guy doing the camera, he's <laughs> really old. Um, the Vital Support uh, by JP, and then also some Amigas. Um, so yeah, that's that's my morning routine, slightly different to the last time yeah. you came when I was having the fry up, but it is what it is, and I enjoy this meal, so it's cool. Oh yeah, okay, okay, oh no. There's a party going on in here, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so this is what working from home looks like. I am still working my normal job, um, which is actually quite lucky to be fair, with everything that's going on in the world, obviously lots of people being furloughed, some people are getting paid, some people aren't getting paid, some people have lost their jobs, and I think that, I think I'd lose my mind if I wasn't actually able to work. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm still, work, uh, still working from home, doing two calls this morning, um, and then got some like admin -y stuff in the afternoon to do. Um, got, my, got my little <laughs> helper. Look at him looking all handsome. Oh, oh, you're better looking than your dad. You can sit next to me any day. <laughs> you're giving me the side eye then. <laughs> <laughs> Come to bed eyes. <laughs> yeah, you've already done that last night. <laughs> um, yeah, so still working, and then obviously still working um, with kind of coaching as well so got a little bit of everything going on which is nice um and Zena's doing a show for you all oh come on little thing um that the hierarchy was correct and that you're on the lead the lead customer otherwise the data won't pull through am I gonna have to share that as well it's already on the I go on year to date rather than rolling 12 having vegetables because I'm hungry. That's the only reason you're eating veg, yeah? <laughs> Otherwise, normally it's, hook the veg and <laughs> say it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like it too toasted. Yeah. 
is 120 grams of chicken. Poverty though. I'm not a man. I don't need any more. I am a woman. That only needs 120 grams of chicken. Let's cut it up into the smallest bit so it feels like there's more of it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> meal two. <laughs> so meal two, I've got one bagel. Um, 120 grams of chicken uncooked. Um, that's actually something that's quite interesting. Um, some people still do cooked chicken volumes <clears> rather <throat> than uncooked chicken. But do you? It's just easier for Jay. me. It's just easier for me. Oh, it's naughty, Jay. Listen, okay, so listen I'm a videographer. If you do it uncooked, <laughs> it will be a different amount of protein oh, in each meal. Um, it's not standard you're not going to get the same amount of protein each meal. So I think it's important to make sure that you are cooking everything kind of raw weight rather than rather than cooked weight. So yeah, little tip, but something that people probably do know. So maybe just like a unuseful tip, which is fantastic. <laughs> so moving on to me, <laughs> moving on to me. Um, I am currently on 2,600 calories a day on training days so that went down not last week but the week before from around 3,000 so food is still general like food is still quite high and um, like my pre-workout I still can't eat my um, 100 grams of oats like it's still too much for me so my body was just obviously really ready for dieting and um, I don't feel hungry at any point and um, but yes food is still lots of it so I'm enjoying it but yeah 2600 is the current stats that we're at at the moment I started prep on like five and a half K but a lot of it was um foods that I was having to kind of make up calories just so that I didn't have to eat a lot more of like the mm. chicken and rice kind of options so we've kind of got rid of all of the nicey nicey stuff now and um, it's just more of the the, the raw kind of whole foods stuff. yeah whole foods rather than rather than the nice things but yeah cool it looks exciting oh another thing oh okay um at the moment I'm doing 15,000 steps on training day I am then also doing 12,000 steps on rest days and I'm not actually doing any of the direct cardio so food is at this plus steps are generally quite low for me like I touched on earlier um, and not doing any direct cardio losing weight and staying full so yeah can you tell everyone what happens when you reach your 12,000 steps and what Cuba has you to do I have to sit down now for the rest of the day <laughs> the rest of the day I'm not allowed to move until he starts going Meg Meg <laughs> Meg and then I do an extra 15,000 on top there we go <laughs> but it doesn't matter because it's for him doesn't matter because it's for him yeah exactly <laughs> right get it down you thank you shopping shopping one of the day tasks we always try and make sure that fruit and veg, that's actually a question I always get asked on my log, why do you go shopping so often? So because we want fresh fruit and veg all the time, I've come shopping often, but then it ends up being more than that because I'm a woman and I like to buy things. Standard, <laughs> say no more. <laughs> um, on my Instagram, I actually did some questions. Um, so shall we run through some of the questions now? Yeah, yeah we can do. Um, so one of the questions was, if I was to go to an ice cream van, what would I buy? <laughs> <laughs> My answer was all of it. <laughs> I love ice cream, I love chocolate, I like all sorts of sweets, so all of it. But my chosen ice cream or lollipop is cherry brandy. So I'd go for a, a cherry brandy lolly. I know that's a little bit like, I don't know, boring, but that's what I'd choose. It is what it is. I'm shopping in my sliders. What are those? Oh, my toes. Because <laughs> I put Kuba's shoes on for him too often that I can't bother to dig my Yes. Yes. Uh, do I need any salmon? No. That's it. Water. So another question that I got on my IGTV was at what time do I train? Um, I like to train around four or five-ish. Obviously sometimes it differs when I am actually working, um, just because I can't help it if, if I've got to train at different times due to work, depending on meetings. But at the moment it's around three to four o'clock. Um, so I like to get a few meals in before, just so I feel like I'm energized and fueled for like my session. 
Um, but I'm going to be getting my pre-workout meal in in a minute, around 90 minutes before I start training, just to make sure that I don't feel sick while I am actually training, so that digestion's there. Um, so yeah, pre-workout meal coming up next. in my Barnsley accent. Um, Jade's come over to do some posing. So I've been helping Jade with the posing since she first started competing with Cooper. Yeah. Um, so we've been, we've gone through PCA and now obviously into her IFBB. She managed to win her pro card and now she's just working through to her pro debut. So we're just looking over it every week really to make sure that everything's kind of popping and flowing in the way that it should be. Um, sometimes she listens and then forgets and then sometimes we have to go back over things to have <laughs> <laughs> But in terms of posing, literally it's possibly one of the most important things when it when it comes to competing. So you can do all of the work that you do and you could look the best that you possibly can do or better than anybody that's going to be on stage with you. But if you don't learn how to showcase it properly, you'll you'll never kind of place like you could have the best person on stage but not posing correctly and she'll end up coming forth i've seen it happen before so you need to really focus on what angles what shapes what positions really suit you um, and work to those strengths rather than trying to focus on what everybody else does and and kind of not looking as good as what you could be. But there's only four people really in the world that I've ever trusted looking over my uh, posing. So that's Cuba, my bikini sponsor, um, a lady called Rosie uh, Rascal, who's an IFBB pro, and then also the lady who first initially taught me how to pose, which was Helen Panther. And I've kind of accumulated things from all of them um, and just kind of worked them to make me look the best that I possibly can and later on we'll go over some posing when we're at the gym after I've trained um, and you'll hear like Cuba go over things that I need to change as well but we'll go through some of Jade's posing and you can see like a bikini aspect and then obviously with mine you'll see the figure so a bit of a mixture for you. Pop that shoulder around a little bit more but keep it a bit more level. There. Yeah. But twist your hip a little bit more that way. There. That looks better than this. Yeah. You need to make sure that every time she does it, her back shoulder pops. I tell Adam so that Adam listens and tells her what for when she's at home. Um, the like, middle man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so much better with that arm as well. Jay showed me some new things yesterday. Yeah, do it around again. Yeah, go again. Lovely. Right. Yeah, about So much better like that though. Yeah, just relax. Okay, pop your lap. That side. There. Okay. Beautiful shape, beautiful. Look at them glutes. <laughs> in a nice position. The homemade. See, we're well. not gonna we're not gonna tell you all of the secrets. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll let you in on stuff. Lots of bikini girls try and cover their shapes, they don't actually pop their lats. They look more shapely, more muscular, which is what they're kind of going for at the moment and just like they're popping a lot more if they do open up that top section they want to sit into their glute obviously just to show that they've got a nice little glute like what Jay does but she doesn't really have to try with that but you just kind of want to make your, your person look effortless when you are bikini and you don't want to get cramp practice makes perfect and then back pose you don't want your feet too wide but you want to turn your knees out so that you've got your glutes and hams popping Sticking them back, sticking them up, but keeping that chest up nice and straight, exactly how Jade is, which is perfect. I find this the most satisfying noise ever when it pauses. it. <laughs> My name's Meg and I have three shakers. <laughs> <laughs> Shakes anonymous. <laughs> right, so, pre-workout is in this one. So I've got 100 grams of oats and 30 grams of the JP ISO. Can't eat the oats at the moment. Maybe when I get a little bit more hungry, a little bit closer to competition, I might be able to, but it's just too stodgy and too much for me to be able to handle at the moment. Like I was saying, I was just ready to diet. So I'm really enjoying the fact that I am actually a little bit hungry sometimes. Um, another thing that I have pre-workout is hydration formula um, just to help with kind of pumps when I'm training um, and also some creatine uh, by JP Nutrition and then my intra 
is in a nice JP shaker that I've washed away the actual trim yeah. by JP. <laughs> um, maybe it's because I just use too much bleach. I love the smell of bleach. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like such a wrong one. <laughs> right, anyway, so this is 20 grams of MPS and 30 grams of this. Is it a safe first one today? <laughs> right, and 30 grams of the sustain. So, yeah, it's the actual, um, it's actually the only carb powder that doesn't give me belly bloat. Um, mm. So, if you do struggle, if you actually have to have carbs into workout and you do struggle with kind of getting a bit bloated, um, with, with carb, other carb powders, please do try the Sustain because it's the only one that doesn't give me belly bloat. On the questions that I did on Instagram, one was how do you find doing legs and then legs pull um, is recovery good? So obviously one of my weak areas is, well, the whole, was the whole of my back chain when um, when I was moving over. Blah, blah, blah. Keep going, I'm gonna keep okay. that in. <laughs> Fantastic footage. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> right, so my recovery with legs and legs pull. So my weakness is obviously my, was my back kind of chain. So hams, um, well, all the way from calves. Calves, hams, glutes and back. So we implemented a density day or as what other people call it, legs pull. So each session of my pull session, I incorporate legs well the back of my legs into it. So we think like RDLs, um, hip thrusts, um, leg presses where I put my feet a little bit higher and wider so that it hits like that, that target area. Um, and the recovery for me is absolutely fine because we do um, push, then my density day, so my pull legs, and then I do a rest day, then I go legs and then rest again. I don't ever feel like I don't recover enough. I, I make sure that I'm on top of my nutrition, my kind of inter-workout things help with, with my recovery so much that I don't struggle with the recovery at all. And it's something that I really do, I think that the push-pull leg split, especially for people, I'm gonna go off on a tangent here, you know. Yeah, just yeah. go for it. <laughs> The push pull leg split, I think when you're an amateur and trying to build like an all round physique is a really good split for for everyone to incorporate. I think that once you then get to a certain size or you get to that level where you are good enough but there's like only slight areas that really need improvements, that's when you can start to look at kind of the the split where you do like a back day, a shoulder day, a yeah. leg day. Um, I think that when you are actually coming up through the ranks, it's it's a split that does build you. Like a round, yeah, the foundation and like yeah. a rounded, good, well-balanced physique. So it's something that I do a lot with all of my clients. And <clears throat> when we first start it, a lot of the girls do struggle with their recovery. So we make sure that there's extra rest days in there as and when needed, making sure that there's enough food so that it fuels for that recovery period. Um, but me personally, I really don't struggle with the recovery. I think because we've got food bang on and because like everything else is bang on in life that recovery is absolutely fine with it. And it, yeah, like I say, it's something that I'd really urge other females as well as males um, to do as well. So we're at the gym. I am at the gym. I'm gonna be training push. Just gonna have the pair. Um, shoulders were one of my weakest areas. I keep saying this. Everything was. Everything was. <laughs> Basically, I needed to bring everything up because I was being bikini and moving into figure. But um, shoulders have been like possibly the most stubborn things to grow. Um, and strength started to dip a little bit um, at the start of prep with with push. But in the last couple of weeks, we've seen like a bit of a rise. Um, obviously, compared to men, it's not as exciting to watch a woman train push, but I hope that you enjoy it because I'll try and make it a little bit interesting. So, I incorporate some mobility into, well, all of my uh, warm-ups when I'm training, but specifically my shoulders, because I just my shoulders twice when I was diving, so I struggle with my mobility up on my head. So if I do these and the other little bits of mobility that you'll see me do, allows me to get into the position to be able to press and, and do stuff. I'm gonna get coached by Kuba, the other half. He's on rest day today. Rest day is a grumpy day. 
It's everyday resting. <laughs> <laughs> function of the delt where it actually starts is not here yet your delt actually starts working from, from here so anything below here you're not actually getting on you're not going to get no delt activation so this is the range of motion we're going to go so up now work work so you come up to about 110 percent 110 degree angle and then you come back down there a bit lower, a bit lower. there we go so there like we go. 45 yeah. to 110 so 45 to 110 that is the active kind of range of it dealt. Just a little bit more gentle on your shoulder joint because she has had some uh, injuries from a diving. She was an Olympic diver. I do always mention that, like, but mm. yeah, she has had some injuries. Uh, I think her shoulder was popped out of socket. I think doing it with that grip puts you in a much safer position as obviously you can turn your arm in this way. I've mentioned in some videos before why we never want your arm here as you're forcing it into a place rather than putting it in a natural position here. So I think this grip is definitely a lot safer if you have got the option or if you've got bad shoulders. I got 75 last time for nine. 85. Three working sets, uh, just because my recovery was good. Um, 
and we felt like a little bit more volume could be could be put into the session. We've now reduced it down because obviously calories have come down, uh, we're on prep, but we want to make sure the performance is still good and so that strength is still increasing. So we've reduced uh, the volume down to kind of three work, uh, sorry, two working sets from the three. Um, and obviously it's working because I've just got the most I ever have on this machine, so all good. It's not about uh, how much you do necessarily, it's about what you do and the effort you put in. So it's mainly about intensity. So I think we can get much more out of doing less right now and still be able to progress. Obviously we've got to take in consideration that she's in deficit now and energy is not going to be as high and uh, we're not going to have as much calories to be able to recover. So we need to kind of work with a lower lower volume, but that doesn't mean intensity slips. The intensity is probably better than ever right now. And as you all know, it's the intensity that builds muscle, not not the workload, not the, not the amount of volume necessarily. It's the amount of volume you do close to failure or with failure. Onto the Gymshock chest press now. Um, I really like this machine. I don't know why, but I just really like it. Let's go, let's go. So on my brush sessions, I only do uh, one chest movement um, because I don't really need any more chest. I just need more shoulders, so that's why it's a little bit more shoulder dominant um, throughout my brush sessions. Obviously, I said that earlier, but just to reiterate. Women drivers. Female drivers. <laughs> Next exercise is the lying cuff lateral. Um, when I'm laid down, I get a better connection with my with my side delt. I don't know if it's because when you sit up, I feel like I don't know, you get a bit more momentum from like your upper body, or if you stood, you get it from your legs. Whereas when you're laid down, like there's no momentum from anywhere. You're literally just lifting from your shoulders, so it really gets it.
So we've got single arm uh, cable push downs for the last set, well, last exercise on um, on the push session today. Had a really good session. Feel like I've got a nice pump. Um, and then after the session, we're going to move on to some persing, so you can watch and listen to Cooper on kind of what he says to me and the and the cues that he gives to me. And then also going to go over my post workout meal as well. Stay on her. <laughs> Socks and shoes. <laughs> so what are we doing? We are doing some posing. So obviously earlier you saw you saw Jade hitting the bikini poses and I went through kind of some of the things that she needs to correct um, to make herself look even better on stage because obviously her body looks great but if you're not going to showcase it in the right way then there's no point is there? No. But you're going to see me do some figure posing and the person that I trust the most to make me look good is Cooper. Um, so I'm going to get him to give me the key pointers that he's been giving me. Um, go through each of my poses like we do most sessions um, and just have him look over me just because I trust his eye. I, I trust um, him with everything on, on my prep. So. You trust his magic eye? Magic eye. Yeah, Cooper's Magic Eye Media. Feet slightly wider. There we go. Knees out. Out of chest up, knees out. Perfect. Yep. Shoulders down. The shoulders down like this. Arms down. There we go. Yeah, arms still there. There we go. Better. Don't lift the shoulders up. Don't lift the shoulders up. Keep shoulders down and open up. Yeah? Good. You. It is actually, it's quite nice. So we have got 100 grams of the JP salt caramel cream of rice, 30 grams of the JP salt caramel ice away, and then 100 grams of strawberries. Nice, nice. Which will go down just lovely. Um, and then Jay's going to head off which we're all really sad about. <laughs> oh yeah, you're looking. <laughs> I, am, I am really sad about it. <laughs> um, so then I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna have my last two meals as well, which is 120 grams of 5% mince with 60 grams of rice. And then my last meal is 120 grams of fillet steak with green veg. So nothing too exciting, yeah, but no gets the, no burgers, no burgers, but I'm actually quite glad to, see the sight of lots of food for for, ti for the time being and I'm not hungry I still feel like I've got so much energy all my sessions are great got so much energy for work like I'm not running myself into the ground with cardio like we started at such a good point with with my prep with food super high with cardio literally like well I wasn't doing any cardio just obviously lots of steps with the dogs and stuff 
but we've obviously had to tailor that down so yeah Happy watch days. this space if you like my video please do like <laughs> <laughs> i think if they like let's it they will like it let's go again let's go go again if you like my video please do like it below and comment on something else that you'd like to see next time and please do subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram which is at meg alicia sylvester and the man behind the camera at oh, my media go on, go on. <laughs> <laughs>